Hi, this is Marv again. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to disable strict host key checking on a, a server uh, so that you don't get prompted for the uh, you know host key checking mismatch. Uh, sometimes you might want to do that on a server which requires to um, log into some other servers for automation purpose, like you want to run a script on the server and you don't want to break the automation if if the key changes. Uh, on, on, on some of the systems and so I run into that a lot sometimes so I had to uh, disable that so I thought you know what make a video out of it so um, to do that what you need in on your SSH configuration so on SSH client so because that's a client setting right SSH config there's an option called stitch host checking usually by default it's always ask now whenever you log into server you know it kind of uh, keeps track of that server on a known host file right and then when if you connect it again to that server again and if the key changes then it will not connect you by default it will tell you make sure your you know known host file is uh, you know updated and updated so that it can get the right key again so to disable that you just uh, append these two lines here Oh, I'm using a uh, shell in the box, so I'm just gonna say, let's try this. Okay, these are the two. So these are the two lines you got to add. So you say strict host key checking no, and then user no host file. So I'm just gonna disable, keep it disabled as it is. Just show you how it looks like without that. Okay. So let's say I want to log into SSH localhost. As you see, it gives me a warning here, right? I'm just gonna go Control C here, and now I'm gonna go back to my SSH config, and Gonna enable these two lines to his strict host key checking no and is a known host file equal to dev null. So it's not gonna store any known host file at all. So be careful when you do that on a production server. You might want to do that only on something that you, if you need it, if you need to do automation and, and you don't want to break your automation script sometimes because of this key checking. So so now we should be able to try this out. And you see we didn't get this uh, that uh, warning again this time. So now we just go straight to the password prompt. So that's how you do it. Um, if you like this video and helpful, um, just uh, press like or subscribe to my videos. Uh, thank you for watching.